All right, I'll just say this first. I'll, I'll save you guys. So, um, we had a lot of guys get banged up, small things, you know, come off the field. I got to check the, the injury reports, but uh, we'll play several starters, a, a small amount on Saturday. Um, you know, the, the, the toll of two joint practices, pretty physical joint practices. Um, I know some, some guys asked me yesterday, hey, was there, there was a little less energy. You watch the film, it was w by far more physical than, you know, than it had been. So really good work yesterday today. So we'll play uh, several of the starters. In terms of Sam, we're, we're leaning towards playing him. We'd like to play him, um, just making sure we have the full complement of guys around him that can help him. So I can't offer really any much more than that, other than that's really where we're leaning and hopeful that we'll have enough guys healthy to be able to do that. Uh, it, not real long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if that I means series to two, maybe. Um, and really, we're trying to trend towards, you know, that, that Steelers game's a short turnaround. So it's three games in 12 days. It's really unique. So that Steelers game's really the time where we're planning on getting the most work. But we'd like to get some work this week. But I mean, really, like the amount of looks we saw today, I mean, that's a full season's worth of different blitzes that we saw. Um, really pleased with the offense today up until, you know, up until the very end, you know, some of the, the, the just max zero blitzes. Um, you know, one, you got to block it up and one guy's got to win. And uh, didn't hit the home run ball, but we ran the ball really well today, protected well today. And some of those young wideouts made catches across the middle that we haven't been making. Um, David Morrison made some catches outside that we, we needed. So a much, uh, much improved in terms of the throwing and catching versus a really you know, strong, difficult defense to prepare for. Everybody, just everybody, yeah. Like, who's he throwing it to? Who's protecting for him? Um, you know, all that. Any updates on DJ? I have uh, no DJ. D, D, DJ got hit yesterday in the back and went down that. There's like that embankment between the few, two fields. And DJ's an absolute warrior, man. Like a lot of guys would say, Coach, I can't go today. He came out here, he warmed up, and he went, and then he got hit and just mm -hmm. tightened up on him. So he wanted to keep going. Like he, you know, he's not happy when I said, Hey, you're done. I mean, DJ wanted to keep practicing. So uh, if we all, you know, if we can all have DJ's mentality about getting on the practice field, you know, be good. But I cut him down. I really wanted to see those other guys, too, you know. I mean, really happy for Omar Bayless today. Terrace Marshall made more catches. David Moore, I don't want to leave anybody out, but it was just significantly improved. And, um, you know, I had some conversations yesterday with some of the wideouts and with some of the rookie wideouts. It was inter I mean, this is interesting. I never, You know, I was in college football. Some of these guys, this is the first time they've ever been in a huddle and heard a play call in their life. They've been in no huddle offenses since they were yay big, and they've been getting things signaled to them. And so – that auditory process of hearing the play called, you know, getting a picture in your head, um, it's just something we have to continue to work on. But it was great to have conversations with guys like, why are you great in the meeting room? And then get out, well, it's just the speed of it. So um, it was good to see those guys get a chance to do the work and have some success today. Well, we're definitely better than last year. Um, I think defensively, defensive, and I didn't see it today, right? I'm watching from the other field. I just kept seeing guys running down the field. But I think um, they're playing much harder, much more physical, some of the additions, some of the development of guys. I think the biggest thing we have to do on that defense is, sorry, so, uh, some of the things we have to do on defense is just eliminate the, uh, eliminate the um, hey, well, I thought this, I thought that, getting everyone on the same page, no excuses, elite accountability. The great defense means everyone you know, does their job and trusts their teammates to do their job. And so that was a focus, I know, coming out of yesterday into today. And, uh, you know, it looked like it was, you know, the results were pretty good over there. Matt, um, J.C. Horn, I think Scott Fitter described him yesterday as an alpha male. And I wonder if you, if you could speak to that a little bit. And then also particularly today about, you know, he seemed to really engage in, I guess, kind of a fun shouting match with the Ravens. He's got a lot of personality. Yeah, and, and you know, I'll let Scott's words be his words. Like I'm not, I'm more of a action, you know, type of a guy. I'm more like turn the tape on. Yeah. How are you playing? Oh, yeah. well, but no, but, that? no but, but I want to make sure I say this though. Yeah. I do love the fact that J JC loves playing football so much that he loves to talk and have some fun. Like yeah. I'm over on this field with these guys. I mean, it's a bunch of great football players for the Baltimore Raiders, and I'm having fun. Deshaun Elliott, you know, he's coach ruled that's a sack. You know, da, 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 da. like we're having fun over there. It was great just to be around a bunch of guys that just wanted to practice football and do it the right way. Two days over there, we had no fights. You know, it was just, I mean, there was a little, you know, a little, when I say fights, no melee, there was a little right. pushing and shoving, but everyone was smart with each other. So I just think JC grew up in this. You know what I mean? He loves the game, loves to prepare, loves to practice. He was so angry last week when he wasn't playing in the game. And, um, you know, he's, he's having a little bit of fun, but at the end of the day, it really comes down to his preparation level has been really good. Taking care of his body has been really good. The thing that we have to, under, I have to make sure everyone understands is this, these, um, these rookies, some of them only played four, five, six games. Some played no games in college football last year. They had no offseason leading into that year. So this 17-game season that we're about to enter, plus three preseason games, plus whatever comes next, 
those that's a long stretch. So these guys have to be pros. And I think JC has all that. So far, he's been the total package. He just has to do it day in and day out for a really long time. But from what I've seen, I'm really excited about it. So. Matt, it seems like much of the same work this camp has been the short and intermediate routes. Will you kind of turn them loose a little bit more as the weeks come on? Or is it yeah. more just trying to keep, keep everything consistent? I, and I wouldn't even say that respectfully. I, I think we've, we've tried to throw the ball deep. We've called it deep. We haven't always connected on them deeply. Um, I think sometimes in camp when you have camp legs, some of those balls, like the guys that run 4-3 start to run 4-5, and Sam's throwing the ball where it should be, and they're kind of you see balls grazing off guys' fingers down the field. So I think we've thrown it down the field. Um, you know, uh, really at the end of the day, like, you know, most of those – most NFL deep balls are guys running across the field and catching balls at 18 to 22. And so um, – I think, I think, you know, with the guys we have, we hope that we can establish the run game, make people come up, play run defense, and throw the ball deep and throw the ball down the field. But um, our defense has made it, you know, when we play against our defense, they're not giving those deep balls up. They have made a commitment to, hey, we're going to force you to have to check the ball down. And, you know, we checked the ball down to Christian McCaffrey. You know, good things will happen. So um, I think Sam's development has been really, really good. Um, I think it's been across the board getting us in the right checks, protections. And today, you know, there were some really hard looks. There were some mistakes made by everybody. Uh, one thing I know about him is he usually goes in there and, and really grinds at it. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll break camp right now, and I know he'll be in there first thing tomorrow morning watching the tape, seeing, hey, what can I do to improve? Matt, uh, you were really complimentary of CJ Saunders earlier. Did he continue to impress you, and what does that say about him, considering his journey? Yeah, I mean, he probably hasn't made as many plays, and I think part of that's probably just, you know, who we're going against and the opportunities. But I think CJ is a guy that's, um, that, that shows up that uh, is a good punt returner. Last week was really, you know, our defense either got turnover, we took the ball away three times, or the ball was punted in, you know, negative territory. So we never really got him or David to get a really good punt return with blockers. But I think CJ's a, a good football player. I think he's going to find a way to make plays, and I'm anxious to see him play Saturday night. You know, I'm hopeful that he can uh, get a chance to go attack the ball, make a play. Did anyone on the defensive field tell you about Davion today? Uh, I talked to the team in there. You know, Davion's a very um, – um, um, person, big personality, you know, and he's great. You should hear him sing. He's an amazing singer. So I said, I said, I looked over, I saw Davion running down the field, and they said, Coach, he had two. I said, Oh my goodness! And so as he walked off the field, I said, Hey, Davion, no one cares. And he said, Coach, no one cares until I get my hands right, my first step right. So he's going to be a really good player. He's a really good player at Iowa. Uh, you know, really good personality. And I'm, you know, so it's just the rookies. You know, I mean, the rookies are still to me in rookie mode. Point, he needs to keep working on. Yeah, ball. all the rookies. You know, we they, they make some plays. We make it, you know, we everyone salutes them. You know, we all want to talk to them. We want to put them on, you know, all, and then they come out the next day. They have to be great the next day. My thing is just consistency is is the truest, you know, measure of, of, of success. And so, um, really, the truest measure of a man, as it said. So, uh, just trying to be consistent day in and day out. Let something bad happens, let it go. Something good happens, let it go. And so, I'm sure they're getting that message. Yeah. Yeah, if you want to, if you say, "Hey, that's how about tell me you want it done," uh, you would look at like Frankie Louvu. You'd look at, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll stay away from the starters because the starters, you know, those are the names everyone knows. But you'd look at like Frankie Louvu, you know. You'd look at what Marquise Haynes. Um, you would look at. I don't, sure don't want to leave him, but Sean Chandler. Um, you would look at. Uh, I'd say you'd look at a lot of ways at like uh, Chuba and what he's done. You know, he's just playing on special teams. Um, C.J. Saunders, we talked about. Um, you know, Mike Horton's a guard, and we say, hey, can you, can you, you know, we lose a guy last Friday, can you snap? And he snapped. Now, some snaps have been on the ground, but he's in there in his hotel room snapping. There's a lot of guys out there that are what we're looking for. So. And then Spencer got a big run in the, uh, the 11 period and also had some big runs in the, uh, the game. How much has he kind of made that system more difficult? Yeah, well, I think, I think um, you know, the, the, you know as, as we say, your, your, greatest avail your greatest ability is your availability, right? And so Spencer's out there day in and day out. Um, so, he, you know, he's, he's, we know he's a good runner. There's so much more to being a running back, you know, blitz pickup, running the right routes and playing on special teams. And so Spencer's trying to develop in those areas. But you can see he's got the fundamental gift of running the football. So um, I think he's got a good future. Um, these preseason games for guys like him are really, really, really important. Have you been happy with how you have seen the rookies develop so far? Like yeah, very much so. I think we have a really good rookie class, both drafted guys and undrafted guys, you know. And a lot's being put on their plates. Like Deontay Brown, like, you know, sprains his ankle in the game the other day. He comes out here. He's playing right guard. He's playing left guard. He's playing versus good players. He's out there blocking Calais Campbell. I mean, we're not out there with, you know, always the starters out there. We're out there, and we got young guys. And, and, and But you know what? That's what they need. So I'm, I'm happy with the rookie class, but they have got to continue to do it for a long time. Speaking of availability, I mean, Taylor had to play a lot at left tackle today. Is there a point where you got to – I guess we've restrained a little bit. Is there a point you got to say, hey, that's twice 
No, 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 no. And I, I understand from your guys' perspective, that's like a thing you guys are talking a lot about. But we, we're going to go with our best five when we have them. And when if a guy goes down, that's the other best five, right? And so, um, you know, we had, you know, we had different mixed combinations last year. Um, that's why we practice where we move guys around and practice. So each week it'll be, hey, who are our best eight up that week and who are our best five? And, um, you know, Taylor's getting more and more comfortable on the left side, which is good. But when Cam's out there, Cam's been excellent so far here these two days. So when he's, you know, when he's been out there, he's played really well. So, um, you know, we don't, we're not a big Veterans Day <laughs> outfit. We do it, some of them. But, you know, so some of these guys, when they get banged up, I just hold them a little bit. Say, hey, hey, hold him. Johnny wasn't, wasn't out there today. And that was a pretty good day for us. Then. We didn't have Johnny out there. We had Cam limited. I mean, DJ limited, no Robbie. So I'm uh, pleased with a lot of the young guys. The, you know, the guys are fighting for spots out here. A lot of guys showed up. So I'm anxious to watch this tape. Yeah, yeah, and uh, it's a, it's a unique thing. It's you know, it's a, so it's 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 not going to be anything that'll be long term, but it just needs some rest. So it's just, uh, it's it's a, I won't even go into what it is. Yeah, but but it's, it's a unique thing for him that he has. So, um, it, it'll be a week to two weeks, and we'll be smart with it, bringing it back because it's the preseason. Yeah, I mean we've got more we've got more physical hard one on one reps than probably I don't know if any other team did two joint practices. Some of them might have, but I mean that was today. I don't know how many reps that was, but that was long and that was a lot of practice. So to come out here for two and a half hours, two days in a row, versus that caliber physical of a team, um, you'll never get that in a preseason game. Normally in a preseason game, you go like a series or two the first you know game, a quarter of the second game, and a half the third game. You know you come out of the preseason with you know 100 reps, maybe 80 reps. I mean, we have well over that in two weeks. So the thing that you don't get is the operation, the looking at, so, we'll, you know, and again, that's what we're using the Steelers game for. We will, we'll probably, we'll try to get some guys out there this week just to make sure we have that. But our greater health and the long-term health of our team is really important to me as well. So I don't want to get, I want to get this work. I don't want to get guys banged up. So that'll be, that all goes into these decisions. Is that operation stuff just something you need to work on coaching-wise? Coaching -wise? Oh, everybody. Yeah, yeah, everybody. I mean, just getting the play call in. You know, this year they, we went out for the game. The NFL has new headsets. So, like, every coach was out there practicing with a new new set of buttons. Some of these guys have been in the league, for, coaching the league for 20 years. They've been, they know where it is. They don't have to think about it. And all of a sudden now there's a new Bose headset. So, every little thing where we stand, warm up for a lot of us, there were no, there was no, not only were there no fans, which we can't wait to have the fans back, but there was also no people on the sidelines. So now there's 100 other people on the sidelines. So, getting used to all that. Um, is is important. That's what preseason's for. The coaches get those reps. Now, you know, hopefully the players will get some a few reps here on Saturday. And a lot of the young guys, though, I'm I'm anxious to see them go make the team. Some guys last week really made a jump from you know from, in my eyes. So that that'll happen again Saturday.